Welcome to another video on Microsoft Surface. In this video I'm going to be talking about Windows 8.1, which is the first upgrade to the version Windows 8, which was installed on Surface with the original Surface devices. Now I believe when you buy new ones it will have 8.1 installed um, for you when you buy it. Um, but if you're not sure which version you have, probably the easiest thing to do is hit the Windows X key, go to the File Explorer menu, and then instead of going into one of the folders, um, just left right click on this PC and go to properties. And that will bring up a window that shows you some information about what's running. And so you can see here, it says Windows RT 8.1. Um, so this is my wife's device, which I just upgraded um, a couple of weeks ago. I've actually had 8.1 on my Surface Pro for some time, and it has some n nice little features. Um, even if none of the features I'm showing you today are of immediate interest to you, um, it's always a good idea to upgrade to the most recent version. That way you're getting any bug fixes, security patches, etc. that are out there. Um, it is a free upgrade. To get it, um, if you aren't already on 8.1, I'll just go to the main screen here. Um, you're going to go back to the, the Windows screen, go over to Microsoft Store, and open that up. Um, the one that's displayed here is the new one for 8.1, so if you're still on 8.0, it's going to look a little bit different. Um, for me, the option to upgrade to um, Windows 8.1 showed up right in the main screen on the store, but if it doesn't on yours, um, go over to the Search for Apps one and search for Windows 8.1. Um, it takes a, quite a while to download. It's a couple gigs um, in size, so make sure that you have your Surface plugged in and that it's, it's not, you don't need to use it for a couple of hours, so you can let it do its thing. Um, it seems to do a great job of storing all your documents, all your applications, and pretty much restores everything back to the way it was after the upgrade's done. Um, but one thing you will notice, though, is that a few things work a little bit differently than they did in 8.0. And for the most part, I think everything is, is good. You'll, you'll like the features, um, but it can throw you off a little bit if you're used to the interface on 8.0. Um, so one of the first things that, that you'll run into is before to um, select a tile, if you want to customize this start screen, you would, you would swipe it in the opposite direction of scrolling. So it scrolls this way, to select it you would swipe that way. You can see that doesn't work anymore. What you do now in 8.1 is you actually tap and hold, and then it will select it. So this is similar to how it works on Windows Phone. So it's nice that they're making the two of them a little bit more consistent. Um, if you want to select something else at the same time, you just go ahead and click on the other things while it's in this mode. Um, one thing you'll notice too is it now has um, shows the titles in a slightly different font and stuff. And so if you haven't put titles on your groups and you weren't aware of it, it, this is sort of a visual indicator that, hey, you can do something with this. You can give them, them names. Um, so that's sort of a nice feature too. And you can see once you have something selected, if you want to move it around, it works just like it did before. Um, but one difference that wasn't here before is they've actually added a new option for the size. So they now have this large tile option, um, which can be good for your pictures, or this one right here that I have right now is a financial app, and so it can show more information in the space. So it's just nice. Always have more options is good. Um, so once you're done, just click the screen again, and then whatever customizations you made will be saved. Um, one other thing you'll notice is if you swipe up to get to the menu, um, it doesn't have the All Apps button anymore. It has this one called Customize, which will take you into the same screen that we were at when you just clicked and hold. Um, so where did All Apps go? They actually just made it so you just scroll scroll the screen up. So here's your tiles, just go like that. So it's not accessing the menu, don't um, scroll from the bottom of the screen, just in the middle of it. All your apps are basically, think of it, sort of the next page down. Um, that's where you'll find them. And who knows, maybe they'll be adding more things to this at some point, but right now you've got tiles and then all apps. Um, so one feature. Um, if you watch some of the earlier videos, you'll remember too that um, I was a little bit disappointed in the photo app that it didn't have any editing features. Um, they have now fixed that. They've added cropping, rotate, edit, delete, all that kind of stuff. So that's great. Um, and I'm sure if you were to take a look at other apps, if you were to use them a lot, you would notice other little changes that they're making along the way um, to make it more robust, give you more features, do more things. So another one that I noticed and, and sort of really appreciate um, so close off that. Now, one other thing here too, um, 
if you remember, you have the ability to snap a window. So basically that's bring it to the edge and then put it in there and then you can bring something else and put it on the other side. So you have a split screen. With 8.0, the split could either be half and half like this or it was something like two thirds and those were your only options. Um, with 8.1, you can actually control a little bit more. You can, you can move it to whatever spot you prefer. Now, windows do have sort of a minimum size and if you go beyond that, you'll see there it just started to close up. That will just go to full screen because it doesn't give enough space for that window to occupy. Um, but just even having that little bit more control to make it whatever size you need is, is helpful. Um, in case you need to give a little bit more real estate, a little bit less, who knows. Um, I've definitely used it a couple times myself already. So, nice feature there. Um, one other one that's that's fairly big is, is SkyDrive was obviously available um, on 8.0, but now they've added some of the, the features that I think have existed in desktop for a little while. So SkyDrive is again cloud storage. Um, I think it's five gigs free um, for every Microsoft account, and then you can purchase more, or they're, they're often giving deals um, where if you sign up for something or I, I can't even remember which one. I think I have 20 some gigs now from the littlest various offers um, that, that we get. But um, if you do use SkyDrive and you like it as cloud storage, one problem you could have is that if you don't have an internet connection, how do you get to your files? Well, the way they've solved that is offline files. And to turn that on, if it's not on automatically, you just scroll from the, swipe from the right, click on settings, go to options and you'll see an option there access all files offline so you just turn that to the on position and then what will happen is you can sort of see there's a status message up in the corner there saying that it's downloading all those items so it's taking them all from SkyDrive putting them on your local system and you can see here there's a status under each of the pictures as well saying which ones are available offline already which ones are pending um, and it will update that status eventually they'll all be available all available offline and the nice thing about the offline one is even if you don't have an internet connection you can go in make modifications to the documents the pictures whatever the next time you get a connection it will upload those changes to SkyDrive um, and it also has a feature that let's say you're editing a document from two different PCs it will upload them and if there's a conflict it can't resolve there is a dialog that will ask you what you want to do um, or it will just save two copies of it and then you can do a manual merge of it um, so that is one thing that can be a little bit of a pain that you've got to watch for um, if you're editing the same document in two different places and you don't give it time to upload um, you might might have to go and pick which version you want to keep or manually merge the two. Um, so it's a more useful feature if you're usually using one machine or the other and you give it enough time to sync um, in between them. And I'm just trying to take a look. None of these might not be um, far enough along. Um, but I believe there's also an option here somewhere to force it to sync but it, it's probably just, it hasn't gotten far enough with downloading the stuff yet. So useful feature, if you don't want it, don't need it. Um, obviously if it's on, turn it off. Um, again, just go into options here and you can put it to the off feature, but definitely nice if you do a lot of traveling or you're in situations where you, you don't have a connection. Um, and so I think those are the main things to show with, with 8.1. Um, so definitely recommend it. Fairly easy, you just need a little bit of time and then you'll have the new version of the operating system and, and get all the benefits that come with it.